Well, g'day everybody, and welcome back to our first slash second look at Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2. Uh, we did have a look at this uh, when there was a demo out previously. I think it was, uh, it may have been a year or so ago. I'm not sure, but uh, thank you very much to Master Code Ultimate Games SA and uh, Stride for uh, for sending me a key so that we can uh, have another look at this now that there's been some major updates in it. Um, Ultimate Fishing Simulator is, uh, we've got, uh, you a fishing fanatic with Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2, you can prove it. Here's a fishing simulator with six picturesque locations where you catch more than 60 species of fish, including the giant tiger shark. <laughs> Grab your rod, adventure waits. <clears throat> Lovely. Now, also, with uh, with uh, great joy, I announced that uh, they have also given me two keys to give away to the community, um, two full keys for, for Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2. So if this is something that you would like to play, definitely keep your, uh, keep your eyes uh, or keep your ears peeled. I am going to let you know how you can join um, uh, join the competition to, uh, to win a key to Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2. Uh, a little bit later on in this video. All right, here we are. Uh, I've created a brand new profile. It did pick up that I had a previous profile, but it was incompatible because there's been so many updates and stuff. I am level one at the moment. I have $200 right there. Uh, you can see here that there's fishing tournaments, there's equipment, there's go fishing, the shop. Uh, there's a pile of settings there, and there's your profile as well. My profile, I'm level one. No experience, no game time, no fish court, no tournaments one. Um, uh, we also have residents here, which is, uh, gives you total fish and aquarium trophies and total aquariums. Let's just go to the residents and have a look at what's there because I'm actually pretty interested in, uh, checking that out. So I can't remember the residents being in it previously, but, uh, as you can see, there's a whole pile of areas here for, uh, for trophy fish and stuff. It's kind of like you would find in hot, in, in the hunting games, where you can uh, where you can actually uh, uh, mount your your uh, your trophies that are uh, super super special for you. Uh, there's also an aquarium here, oceanarium open in phase three. There's also an aquarium here, so there's some aquariums that you can uh, that you can add fish to. You can feed your fish and look after them. Looks like there's going to be an ocean oceanarium at some point in time, which uh, obviously you can put in some larger fish, including these tiger sharks so we've got a couple of aquariums here they're looking really really good as well uh that's the oceanarium again hmm so lots of uh lots of stuff there there's some photos of uh of the areas that we can fish in and stuff as well which is pretty cool lovely all right let's get uh back to the main menu and start some fishing Okay, lovely. Let's uh, let's go fishing and see how we can do. Welcome to Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2. Do you want to start the tutorial? Yes, indeed, we do. Because I cannot remember how to play. There we go. Okay, here we are. Movement. You can move around the uh, you can move around the fishing ground using W, S, A, and D keys in the mouse. Right side of the screen, you'll find information about the weather and the equipment you're currently using. Look around the fishing ground, then approach the water. Let's do it. It is a uh, it is a very good looking game. I do like it. It, it feels kind of HDR. So uh, yep, you can uh, you can sprint by holding down. Now, you can't pick mushrooms, thankfully, because I would probably pick that and eat it, and uh, it would do some sort of damage to me. Looks like this is our first little fishing area here, so we can have a look around. It is it is very very nice. Uh, looks like you can actually walk right around here. But let's go out onto the uh, little jetty here. And see if we can uh, see if we can do ourselves a little spot of fishing. Here we go, lovely. Looks like I can't do it from there, so let's let's just approach the water then. Let's uh, maybe move over to here and approach the water from here. There we go. One of the more popular fishing methods is float fishing. Select a float set now by pressing two. All right. Uh, hit number two. We'll go through this tutorial. There might be some. Uh, there might be some areas that I cut out as well, um, depending on how much information we get given here. The simplest way of casting the rod is a short distance cast. However, keep in mind to aim for a spot with sufficient depth. Prior to casting the rod, you can adjust the float depth with the uh, bracket keys. 
Uh, perform a short distance cast by pressing and holding right mouse button. Okay, let's uh, maybe throw it uh, out near those reeds there. And there we go. All right, now uh, disclaimer: I am not a good, <laughs> I am not a good fisherman in real life. I don't go fishing in real life. I did when I was a kid, but I don't now. Uh, line is real. Uh, the line is reeled in by pressing the left mouse button. You can change the reel speed with the mouse wheel. Uh, mouse wheel. You can adjust the drag strength with the plus and minus keys, and you can also reset the cast by pressing Q. Now fully reel in the line. Beautiful. Okay, so we'll bring the line in there. I didn't cast very well, did I? There we go. Lovely. You perform long distance cast by pressing and holding the left mouse button. Okay, long distance cast. And there we go. That seems uh, really intuitive. Where the hell did that go? <laughs> It went over my head. How did I do that? The bait got hooked on the ground. It certainly did. <laughs> let's reset our, uh, let's reset. There we go. <laughs> I'm positive that I was uh, casting in that area. There we go. We're out in the water now. Uh, your next cast task is to catch a fish. You can use the underwater camera by pressing the U key to see what's happening underwater. Wait for the fish to become attracted to the base, uh, to the bait. Okay, I can move that camera around. Come on, there's got to be fish around here in the reeds. Fish love reeds, although I'm probably going to get tangled, aren't I? Do I have a worm on there? I do. I do have a worm on there. Oh, there we go. Right mouse button to jerk. Oh, no, I missed it. I missed it. I was, t I was too busy. I was too busy sitting in the, uh, sitting underwater and checking everything out. That fish came up so fast. So fast. So right mouse button to jerk when we catch a fish. All right, no worries. And it looks like the, it looks like something's going on with our little, uh, with our little float there. Keep our eye on that. Keep our eye on the float. The fish is coming in and having little nibbles, I think. It's floating at the moment. You can see it up in the uh, in the right-hand side there, just under the bait picture. There we go. No, missed him. There we go. That's it. Okay, we've got him. Once you've hooked a fish, you can freely pull it in to shore by pressing and holding left mouse button. Okay, we've got the uh, we've got the fish. We've got the fish. Looks like we've got to be really, really careful as well that we don't let the fish uh, escape. But uh, for the tutorial, I'm sure that they are making it a little bit easier for us. And here he comes. He's massive. He's massive. There we go. Lovely. And we've got a fish. Yeah, he's huge. He's huge. Uh, after catching fish, you can uh, either keep it or release it. With each grinding, you different bonuses. Release the fish now. Select the spinning set by pressing 1. Okay, so we'll do that. Um, how do we release the fish? Right there. All right, that gives, us, uh, that gives us 5. Now we need to select a spinning set. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over. I'm going to go over here. Uh, it's time for a new type of fishing. In this step, you'll learn how to use the spinning method. Now to perform long distance cast by pressing the left mouse button. Yep, no worries. Let's get out here. And a long distance cast. Out it goes. Where'd it land? It landed miles. Okay, beautiful. Uh, guide the lure so that its effectiveness is as high as possible. In the upper right corner of the screen, there's a lure indicator. When it turns green, it means the effectiveness is increasing. Reduce the retrieval speed to 10% using the mouse wheel and retrieve the lure until you get a bite. Okay, so if we... Uh, uh, if we uh, do our speed using the mouse wheel down to 10%, which is right there, and we bring it in nice and slowly. 
There we go. 10% is good because it's holding that lure in the green position as well. Um, come on. You can do it. You can get a fish, Simmy. You can get a fish. Let's go into uh, here. And bringing it back in we didn't get it we didn't get it and we've got it all right lovely let's uh increase our speed to bring it in just increasing the speed with the mouse button there i actually like that i actually do like that press and hold that to uh bring the fish up uh yeah another massive fish another fat massive fish uh, select keep to put the fish in your net. The net is used to manage fish. You can open it by going to the main menu with the escape and opening the player profile. Okay, so if we keep that and we go to uh, pressing M will open the map of a given location. You can use it for teleport to a particular spot uh, by clicking the fishing ground number or to change the weather. We do probably need to do that at some point. Let's just go into here, go into the profile and open our fishing net. All right, so we've got release and we've got sell there. Uh, show in 3D, add to aquarium, add to trophies, and show in 3D. So it's a European perch. The modeling of these fish is magnificent. It really is. All right, lovely. Uh, yeah, so we've got a few few options to do there. Let's go back. Let's hit the uh, map key. And we've got uh, fishing location one and fishing location two. Let's teleport. Do you want to spawn in the lo in the indicated location? Yes, I do. Uh, you can find all the information you need under the help tab. Now there is a help tab that uh, that gives you uh, a whole pile of information. That is right here, and as you can see, you've got a whole pile of information about different types of fishing, about skills and your skills up, uh, your custom layouts for your inventory, and all that type of stuff is actually really cool. There's your skill tree there. Be nice to have. It'd be nice to have a little, little bit of a mouse over, but it looks like you can click on it anyway. Uh, you've got to buy skill points. I'm not sure exactly how much. Uh, sell a five percent uh, increases the sale price of fish. Uh, increase the chances of being able to buy items at better prices. So there is a, there is a lot of management and stuff of your um, um, of your um of your equipment and stuff like that as well. And uh, I'm guessing that there's sort of better equipment and stuff like that. We want to open this. I want to throw this fish, this European perch, I want to throw it in my uh, in my aquarium and uh, and see what, see what that's all about. All right, let's uh, see if we can find this. What, what aquarium did it go into? <laughs> I really want to start catching a whole pile of fish and adding them to my aquarium. I can't see him anywhere. Where are you? Where are you, little fella? Where are you? He's probably hiding in here somewhere. Can't see him in there. Can't see. I did. I did put him in there, didn't I? I may have messed up and not even put him in there because I can't find him in here swimming around anywhere at all. A uh, total fish, one of one. Left mouse button. Man. Ah, there he is over the back there having a swim around. I really want to just fill this with a whole pile of different fish. That would be so cool. Bug of the tournaments and everything. I want to catch fish for my aquarium. So we've got left mouse button to manage the aquarium. We've got a European perch. Okay, that's cool. Um, we can sell and we can release him if we want. There he goes over there. We can also right mouse button to feed him. And there goes a worm and off he goes. <laughs> He's loving it. I'm guessing we've got to, uh, we need to keep him, uh, keep him alive and stuff. All right, let's get out and do some more fishing, guys. Let's get out and do some more fishing. All right, go fishing. And as you can see down here, we've got Jackson County in the, the these are the maps, Jackson County in the United States, uh, Latin, uh, Latinisco, uh, holiday resort re re uh, located on the shores of Lake Gilwa, also called, uh, yep, because I'm going to pronounce that, 20 kilometers west of Olson, 
Uh, at about 30 kilometres northeast of Ostrada. Uh, small, nay, unnamed watercourse. Beautiful. And then you can have a look at what type of uh, fish are on the map here. It gives you that information there. We've also got Slovakia, Kiel, Canal in Russia and Thailand. <gasps> yeah, I want to go to Thailand and catch so I wonder whether you can catch tropical fish. But obviously, you need to be a certain level to go to these. Uh, let's see, level 27 to get to there. We need level 3 to get to our next map. So let's go fishing in Jackson National Park. Now it is worth noting as well that there is uh, there is leaderboards and stuff in here, so um, keep that in mind. I think we might do some uh, spinner fishing this time. So let's reduce our uh, our speed, our drag speed to or our reel speed to ten uh, percent. Off we go, in it goes, clunk nearly over the other. So let's uh, start reeling that in. Should start, once we pick up the slack on the reel, it should start, uh, there we go. Slow and straight, slow and straight. Keep our eye on that, uh, on that, sp is it, it's not, no, it's not a spin. There we go, let's, there we go, we've got our fish. Let's bring our speed up a little bit and uh, reel him in. We'll reel him in at 50% at the moment, actually, we can speed that up a little bit. I'm guessing that... Uh, if they try and escape, there we go, we got that. If they try and escape, then uh, that little gauge on the top will, uh, what's he? A pumpkin seed. A pumpkin seed. All right, let's let's uh, let's keep him. He'll look really good in our aquarium. What else can we get out here? Let's, uh... Oh, no, that was a crappy one. That was a crappy one. Let's just drag that in. There we go. Let's try that again. <laughs> All right, let's bring our uh, our speed down to 10% again. And cast. No, I was supposed to do a, uh, I was, wasn't supposed to do that cast. I just cast into there. I was supposed to do a left mouse button cast. Yes. Okay, let's bring the speed back up again. Let's just bring this in. Simi, just messing everything up as per usual, as per usual. Okay, left mouse button cast. Let's bring our speed down to 10%. There we go. And off we go. Off we go. Clunk. It's a little bit hard to see where we went there, isn't it? Uh, there is a quick help by hitting the tab key there, which is actually pretty good. Now, I also noticed that you can, um, I also noticed that you can, uh, by clicking the mouse button, the middle mouse button, it changes between uh, speed and drag so that you can adjust the speed and drag. Missed him. I was uh, I was looking at other stuff, and I didn't notice that uh, we were getting a little bit of a bite there. So I missed that fish. It looks like when you've got a fish on the line, you do need to hold the right mouse button by the looks of it, rather than jerking it. There we go. Got him. Got him. Got him. Let's see if we can bring him in. Uh, we can bring up our speed a little bit now. You can see that little white gauge starting to fill up there. And I'm guessing that uh, if that gets to the top and you're not letting the fish drag, then uh, they are going to, um, then they're going to a grass pickerel. Another fine addition. Then they're going to, uh, they're going to escape as well. All right, let's change, uh, let's change modes and let's go into, uh, let's go into our normal little fishing mode. Let's uh, bring, let's do a normal cast. But uh, we'll do some float fishing as opposed to, uh, oh, did I go onto that rock? No, I didn't. All right, there we go. So we've got the float in the water there. Everything's looking good. We've got a little bit of uh, worm on there. We'll go into the shop after we've done this and we'll have a look at what we've got available there and uh, see what uh, skill ups we can do and stuff if 
we've got enough skill points, but at the moment I don't think we do. Okay, so you've also got some details up on the right-hand side of what uh, of what you've got there. You've got a UFA bait hook number 16. I don't know what any of this means. A mono clear uh, and a 1.3 kilogram strength. So that would be the uh, type of fish that you could bring in, I'm guessing, in, in regards to the kilograms and stuff. Nice little scenery, nice little spot to go. Love to get out to uh, Thailand and then do some river fishing and stuff as well. We're not getting any bites at the moment. Not getting any bites at the moment at all. But then we can also, uh, we've got our leader length uh, is 0 0.5. I'm wondering whether I uh, whether I bought that in. No, it, it, oh, it could probably be a bit deeper, couldn't it? We do have fish around here. Here we go. We've got something something coming up. Something can see it. A little pink fish. So I reckon we might actually need to bring the depth down a little bit. Yeah, let's maybe try that again. Let's bring that. Uh, let's let's bring that in. Pick up on our speed a little bit. Bring it back in a little bit faster. It's actually relatively intuitive to uh, to be changing your speed and stuff while you're while you're reeling this in. There we go, and there we go. Okay, so let's uh, see if we can change our depth now. Uh, so we're going to thirty float depth sixty float depth point seven. Okay, seven hundred mil. That sounds about right. Let's give it half a uh, half an oomph on the cast, and that should bring us out near where those fish are. All right, lovely. Let's have a quick squeeze in there. A little bit deeper, a little bit deeper. Can't see any fish coming at the moment, but they are around. I know they are. I reckon we're going to have to go way deeper than this by the looks of it. Now, can I... Can I reel in? Yes, I can. I can reel in and I can bring myself closer to the fish. But obviously, uh, when you go into realistic mode as, as opposed to normal mode, or when you go into normal mode, we're going to get a bite in a sec. And there he goes. Missed him, missed him. Um, when you go into uh, realistic mode, then you obviously don't have the underwater camera, so you can't do what I just did. But then I'm not a good enough fisherman at the moment to be able to uh, to be able to not go or to be able to go on realistic mode. Let's throw that up again there. Okay, so uh, for the competition, guys, all you need to do is follow the link below in the comments to my Discord channel. On my Discord channel, there will be a um, uh, there will be a uh, comp uh, giveaways um, channel on there uh, or a giveaway section on there. Go into the giveaway section. You will find that on the day that this video is released, a giveaway will start. All you need to do is click the reaction, uh, which is the party hat, and that automatically enters you into the competition. The competition will be open for uh, one week from the date of the release of this video. And in one week's time, the uh, bot will automatically Pick and announce a winner um, for the key. Now, there is two keys to give away, so two winners will be announced on that. So follow the Discord link below. Look in the giveaway uh, section on my channel, and uh, you will find the competition there, and you will be able to click that little party hat emote. Did we get him? Yes, we got him. Um, and, uh, and, yeah, you'll be in the running and in the draw to... Uh, to win yourself a, uh, a key to Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2, which is uh, pretty fine. There's a, there's a grass pickerel. It's worth 72 cents. Uh, let's, let's keep it anyway. All right, let's go, and have a look at, uh, let's go and have a look at what we've got in here. We've got our fishing net here. We've got a grass pickerel, which is a, uh, which is a one star, and then we've got a two star there. I want to keep that pumpkin seed. I want that pumpkin seed to go into the aquarium and I wouldn't mind a grass pickerel. So let's throw that one in the aquarium and let's sell that and exit the location. Yeah, so a great opportunity to win a key there. 
and um, and it will give you. Uh, let's go into the shop here. Actually, let, before we do, let's go into our equipment, uh, and you can see what we actually have set one and set two here. Uh, there is set three, set four, and set five, which we do not have at the moment. Ah, so the mono clear point one two is the uh, is the fishing line. Uh, we've got the barracuda, and then we've got the feed master rod. We've got the leader there, and uh, we've got the uh, classic twist fishing lure. Perfect. Have we got any accessories at the moment? Rod supports, bite alarms. Uh, slingshots, bite alarms, that'd be good for me because I do get distracted looking at things. Uh, let's go into the shop and have a look. We've got $200 and 65 cents. 65 cents. So there's some packages here. Um, package of lures for the seventh level. Lures for the third level. Oh, it can get pretty expensive, can't it? Doesn't look like there's uh, any more. Fishing sets. We've got spinning for beginners. Float set for 8th level. And spinning pro. Which obviously allows you to catch bigger fish. So that's 7,175. Rods wise, we've got different rods here. Uh, we've got the free rod. Now as far as I'm aware, you do have to do maintenance on your rods. Uh, unless it's the free rod. Uh, so say, for example, we bought this Sakura or we bought this Float X5. Um, we would need to maintain those as well. Uh, what else have we got? We've got float rods, spinning rods, casting rods, and feeder rods. We've got reels, different types of reels in here. At the moment, we've got the... Uh, do we have the... No, we actually had the Barracuda on one, didn't we? And uh, you've got the uh, UF, UFE Kanta, which I'm guessing... Yeah, we already have lines, floats, uh, different types of floats, waggler floats, carp float, carp float, sport floats, and ball floats, and sinkers, lovely. Uh, leaders, we've got uh, feeder baskets. Oh, okay, so you can throw, you can basically throw mush in there to feed the fish and attract all the fish, I'm guessing. Different types of hooks, bait hook, uh, type bait, amount five. So you can buy you can buy those and add them to your cart. Uh, Aberdeen. So there's different, there'd be different octopus hook. What? Carp, a treble hook, and wide gap. So I, I would have to learn all about that. We've got dough, we've got earthworm. Bread uh, tracks almost all species, except for the predatory ones. Uh, Grand roach, bream, rud, barbel, chub, eyed, tench, and carp. Bread is effective virtually any time of the year, in addition to being quite attractive. So you've got a lot of, you've got a lot of stuff in here. Lures, sinkers, accessories. Uh, oh yeah, cool. So there's the rod support that you can buy. Uh, so you can run, it looks like you can run three or four rods maybe at the same time. Aluminium um, support stand double. Uh, wow, there's a, there's quite a lot of stuff in here. Quite a lot of stuff in here. But anyway, guys, I am going to leave this here. Um, this is uh, online. It obviously has tournaments that you can enter. Players tournament, daily tournament, regular tournament. Create your own tournaments as well. Uh, it has, uh, yeah, it has a leaderboard as far as I'm aware as well, but, uh, this is it. I hope you've enjoyed this first look. Don't forget the, uh, competition. Don't forget that you can, uh, you can, uh, join that competition by heading to the discord channel and, uh, going into the giveaway channel on my discord and, uh, and clicking the little party hat icon underneath the competition start. So keep your eye on that. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.